original palace in Karnaka, his birthplace, in order to build a lavish structure that cost enough to feed everyone in Circonos for years. It's said to be a what sprawling asshole. estate to humble all others, a monument to his ego and sense of princely entitlement. But whatever the Duke has done to his nation happened while I was Empress. In Dunwall, we were content to look the other way as long as the silver kept flowing. I've got to get inside the Grand Palace, deal with the Duke, and find a way to steal Delilah's soul. Am I gonna get stole, stolen back into the void again? What? Ah! This is my last night. Soon, I'll dissolve into the great nothing. You should be at peace. I'll stay too long. Find a last spirit. Trap her with this cage of dead flesh. Set me free. I don't understand. You will very soon. We're going to trap your mother's sister inside of her heart. All right then. Favor? What? What do you mean, favor? Weird. I wonder. Nope. The timepiece is gone. Because that was just a one level, one mission sort of thing. Oh, Wyman! <laughs> uh, Wyman. Oh, you ethereal love interest. This seems strangely smooth for some reason. So I started another save file. With Corvo. Because I want to do a... Ghostly no kills run. Oh. What? The same people who built it. Yes. I regret my affiliation with the young duke, but his father and I were close. Oh, Although is that I Stilton? Hope that would eventually grow up and learn that his actions as ruler of Sirkonos have very real consequences. <laughs> he could always count on the backing of Dunwall's finances and navy. Maybe without that, he would have developed a healthy respect for the people of Sirkonos. Fear of the executioner's block has been a fine motivator for many a ruler. Wait, what? Once Wait. Once the Duke falls, it's oh. hope that we can build something better here. Megan has her arm back. And inclusive. Of course, because she wouldn't have gotten into that confrontation that lost her that. Lost her arm. Without Stilton having gone crazy. Huh! Nice! Huh! 
How did I not notice that the first time? Weird. So yeah, I started another save file with Corvo for the no kills, no sightings run. Because Corvo still has his powers from the original game, which includes time stop and his blink power, which is far reach for Emily, has completely transitioned into becoming Dowd's version of blink, where stop not moving while you're aiming blink freezes time. You have to upgrade it, but still, you're basically in a constant state of time stop. This makes him extremely pop. That doesn't seem safe. <laughs> this doesn't seem safe. <laughs> I don't think carrots should be able to do that. Phase through the ladle. Duke Bell spared no expense on his new palace. It's tacky if you ask me. <laughs> yeah, throw that shade. I hope the Vice Overseer will bring order to Karnaka. Which is why I left his arch nemesis alive. I hope Paolo can bring some kind of justice to Karnaka. <laughs> okay. I wonder what Aramis Stilton can accomplish now that things are different. I never did actually get a good look at Stilton. Cool. I like this. I like the changes to time that happened. I wish the time stop power was a more permanent... The time shift ability was a more permanent addition to the game, but... I guess you can't really expect to be able to use it all that much outside of that specific instance. What? What are you doing? What is this? Empress Jessamine herself once offered me a suite at Dunmore Tower, complete with a laboratory, the finest apparatus in the Isles. I declined, of course. I'm not some conjurer from penny novels. Probably not. There's only so much you can do to persuade a person to not be awful. Why are there rats on the ship? What was I talking about? Oh. Oh, it's open. Coming up. Hello. You have an arm. Are you ready for this? Probably. I've been inside Maybe. a dozen castles and a hundred mansions, and they're the same everywhere. The Duke's palace can't be anything worse than Lady Brisby's social afternoons. Getting inside might not be the hard part. The Duke doesn't exactly run a tight ship. Taking down Duke Abel is only part of the puzzle. You've also got to find whatever it is he's keeping for Delilah. A weird effigy of her. You were cryptic about what you glean from visiting the Dust District, which is fine. The world is better with a hint of mystery. But once you're inside the Grand Palace, whatever you do could affect things in Karnaka for years to come. Remember that. I've got a map of the Grand Palace for you, and I know something that may be useful. There's a hidden lever in the pantry that opens a passage to the Duke's vault. If he's keeping anything precious for Delilah, I suspect that's where it'll be. Beyond that, good hunting. I'll see what I can do. I know things in Karnaka are fragile, and I've got a lot to think about after all this is done. 
Nice. I wonder how this whole part of the game would go if I hadn't gotten the powers from the outsider. Would he have given me the timepiece? Hmm. Interesting. What? I hope I've been of some help to you. Yeah. It's good to feel useful here near the end of my time. Ah, uh, spite will get you a long way. Like my cat. It's not widely known, but the Duke has a body double. The man is the spitting image of Luca. Do you remember me warping into the past and strangling oh. you? What? Because that was a fun time. A likable fellow and quite humble. <laughs> What is your deal, man? You're weird. Huh? <laughs> oh! <laughs> what? I was thinking about something. Was it about my cat? <laughs> oh, I'm so scatterbrained. Oh yeah, I was thinking about that mad panic who tried to escape with your unconscious body. That was ultimately pointless because that's not how the game works. <laughs> funny, funny, funny. Should we head toward the palace? Absolutely. Let's get underway. Wait, I should have checked for bone charms and runes before I left. I missed a rune. Right at the beginning of the game. It was off the side of the Dreadful Whale before heading into the first mission. Well, the second mission, Edge of the World. Because the first mission was Escaping Dunwall. At the palace, the Duke has a lookalike body double, meant to confuse assassins. A friend of mine washes the linens and said the double is a smoker, if that helps. Maybe you can talk to him. She says he's a nice guy. What a shitty job. Pretending to be a tyrant like Duke Luca Abel. Yeah. It's remarkable that people tolerate the Duke. He's got an army, control of the mines, and he's had your support from the capital. At the Duke's parties, people carve up the country while eating boiled crab. There were parties like that in Dunwall, full of toadies sucking up to me, stabbing each other in the back. Poor Empress. I could see those party lights from the roof of the abandoned butcher shop where I slept. In the flooded district. I know you grew up hard, Megan. I used to wander Dunwall with my face hidden. But when I got tired of it, I could always go back to the tower. Karnaka's given me perspective. Good. After you've eliminated the Duke, find what he's holding for Delilah and take it. When you're finished, I'll pick you up in the skiff. Wow. Okay, everything seems remarkably smooth, which makes me worried. What is out there? Bone charm, bone charm, boom, boons, black bone charm. And then you can pro. There's probably a second area. Actually, inside of the palace that will have more for me. Is there anything over here? Fish slice. Ooh, raw whalebone. I can use that. Angelfish scales? I can use that. Actually, probably not. I don't think there's going to be another black market inside the palace. That would be weird. Ooh. Processed whale oil. Nice.
I can't say that I'm super keen on Corvo's voice acting. I don't know, he just seems... A little bit zoned out, I guess. Underwhelming. Anything up here that I need to watch out for? No? Where the hell am I going? What? Okay. Couple of dudes. Dudes being dudes. What was that? Nope. Why? Why? Why is it telling me this? That seems weird. So there's a black market. I was wrong in saying that I doubt that there would be a black market. Hmm. Why are there just lights sitting on the ground that are on? That seems weird. I don't suppose these guys would be upset if I came down there. Oh, there's a guy right there. Doing something. Okay. Look at this place. Might be time to head back to Potterstead. All right. Let me just grab that off of you, and uh, take that. <laughs> Are these guys angry? Oh, hungry. Might be time to spring for fish cake. Hey. You guys chill. Now my brother-in-law tried to get me to sign on with a mining crew. <laughs> no way I'm dying down in a hole. All right. Cool. Are you coming tonight? Sure. Did taking this stuff make you upset. Don't mind me. Just taking your stuff. Okay, see ya. Hmm. Two coins for that cat laugh? Well, no more, thank you. This place is a dump anyway. Eh, cat laugh. Oh, probably a small... A small little apartment. What? Why am I back here? What's the point of this? There is no point for this. What? Why? Why? Checkpoint, huh? Probably don't want to get spotted from here on out. Probably. 
That wouldn't be helpful. Help me if you can. Oh sure. You're a good one. You know, there's a You can sell that for money. Here, in some rocks behind the fountain. People have always left offerings there. That's where I started having those odd dreams. I don't go there anymore, but you might want to check it out. All right. Thanks. See you sometime. Yeah. Ooh. That probably won't be good for me. There's no such permit, Captain. I know the laws of Tarnaka. Laws change. The Duke's giving the Grand Guard leeway to create new fees when needed. You know who else had a nice shop? That clockmaker. Serafina. Her shop burned down. Yeah, my report said it was Provident. No one knows how the fire started. Captain, her brother died in that fire. Sleep inside drunk from what I learned. You got until tomorrow to pay up. What an asshole. Where is he? There? Never earned those medals. I'm twice the soldier he is. You're also an asshole. They're all assholes. Give me that. Working for the Duke's not so bad. As long as you're Grand Guard. It ain't to be anybody else with me. There's this dude, there's those dudes. Gate code. Ooh. That might be useful. What about this guy? Hey, hey guy. Come here. Eee. Hey, hey guy. Guy. Hello there. What's up? You find yourself in the most reputable safe shop in Karnaka. Great. Cool. Say what? <laughs> There's a pouch. Probably for money. They might get upset at me for taking. Oh great, is there no way else out? Well, bye. Where, where the hell was I going? Here. Excellent. See? See? I told you! Hmm. Outsiders crooked cock. Come on down here. Wants to get closed behind them. What's in there? I don't know. Let's uh go a different direction first. Let's see what oh. you've got. What's up, guys? Don't mind me. Oh no, no, you bastard! You bastard! Can I get over there? I can. Here's something that I did note about Corvo's blink versus Emily's far reach. Far reach automatically has a longer range than. Oh, what the? 
Oh, cool. Far Reach automatically has a longer reach than Blink did. Visual Thread. Ooh. That's actually really good. What's this one? Wolfhounds? There. Even better. Yeah, we'll go. Hmm, anything else? Not particularly. Weird. Blink also is just a straight track to where you want to go, whereas Far Reach actually involves you grabbing a hold of a target and then pulling yourself towards that. Whereas Blink is just shunting you straight forward through space. What was it, 343? Three? Far Reach can be upgraded to grab things. Blink can be upgraded to. Oh. Knock people out when you dash into them. Blink can be upgraded to move farther, as well as stop time. Hello, folks. How are y'all doing today? Lady? What the fuck? What the fuck? What? What? Just happened. Is it, what, what? What? Was was that? What? What? What the fuck just happened? Was that supposed to happen? What just happened? <laughs> 